okay uh, welcome to the uh, online video series of python so uh, before we in we, before videos we have already discussed uh, how to uh, initialize uh, your first program using python so in this program we are going to discuss what are the variable types available in python so when we are discussing the variable types in python uh, there are uh, variable types like numbers strings list tuple and dictionaries so uh, these are the basic standard data types you can found in python so in this video we'll be we'll be discussing on numbers and its strings and in later videos we'll be discussing about list and tuple also so the first thing when you are working on uh, python you should know about these variable types so uh, first we'll see what are the variable types in uh, python first three we are going to see in this video will be integers floating points and strings okay so uh, we'll see uh, how to initialize a variable in python so we'll first run it in the shell then we'll go for the file and we'll write the code in the file and we'll compile it and see the outputs okay the uh, first thing when you are uh, running any code in python the thing you should know is in python we are not going to have a data type we are not going to initialize it so in c programming or in java when you are initializing variable you are typing int a that means the variable a is belong to an class of integer else if not you are writing float b float b like that but in python you want initialize any data type so if you are going to initialize a equal 5 that mean a is equal to 5 so the a is going to be a integer so like if we check the type type of a is to belong to class int so that mean that is an integer so if we go for a, a float value we'll initialize b equal 5.5 .5. So if I paint B, you can see 5.5. If I check the type of B, so then that B is belong to class float. So then how this Python is identifying whether it is an integer or a float or a string. So uh, in uh, Python, when the memory is allocating, there is something called heap memory. From the heap memory, when we are initializing some string or when we are initializing integer or, or float which is known as which we are initializing variable that much of memory will be allocated for the variable in this case for a the integer so it's an integer for the integer uh, for integer there might there will be some uh, amount of memory is going to be allocated for an integer for a long or for a string for a float value there are a many number of space according to the each variable the allocated memory will be different so that's how python is going to going to identify whether it is belong to a integer or a float or it is an history okay so like in c or in uh, java we are not going to initialize as int a int b float a float b like that we want initialize like that in python you will be just initialize given a variable name initialize whatever the variable uh, value then you can just print and check and you can check the type also using the keyword type see you can check it is belong to class int so if we check for an uh, string hello then if i type type of c so you can see the type is an str which is mean it is belong to a string okay so this is how uh, the data type initialization happening in the uh, python so uh, we'll go for our normal python shell and this is our file then we can run it from here and check so i'm going to run a code like this 
so this is my normal code so first the counter is 100 so normally it is an integer then miles is going to be and floating point because we are having a decimal and we are having a variable called name which is an string so we'll run the code and check so then you can see you have received 100,000 and John as the normal thing if want we can check the type also we can ask to print type of counter then print type of miles then print type of name then if we compile it we can see the output like so 100 is an integer miles is 1000 then name is John so we can see the classes separately integer float and string so this is how we are going to initialize uh, whether it is uh, uh, integer or a floating value floating value or the string like this only so you can use any uh, name or the, any, any variable name and you can just give the variable type so if it is a integer or a float or a string we are not going to initialize anything like int count like that so this method is wrong just we can simply give the variable name equal 100 so in future we will be discussing so how we are going to convert integer to float float to integer like that so in this case uh, you should know how to initialize the variables uh, in python so this is how we are going to initialize things so in next video we will be discussing about uh, list and tuple so as of this tutorial uh, we will be learning uh, how to initialize integers very uh, floating values and strings so uh, then uh, we'll go for an example of a string also we'll check this example so in this case so i'm having a string called hello world so i'm going to check for the output of this one okay so if you see the output and the uh, corresponding inputs so i'm having a variable called a string so the variable name is hello world it is defined as hello world so uh, these are small functions so if you use print string so i will be getting the full line hello world so print string of zero mean it is indicate with the square bracket it indicate the location so print the first character of the string so when you are dealing with the string you should know that strings uh, will start him from 0 to n minus 1 so if you have n length a string so your string will be initialized from 0 to n minus 1 so in this case 0 indicate the first element so if we go for the second one it is showing that 2 to 5 so it will be start from 0 1 2 2 to 5 then ll or will be given the print so in the next one it is showing like 2 2 there is no end point if there is no end point that means it should be start from 2 to end it will print so in this case it is showing like print is string multiplied by 2 that means it's going to string is going to be repeated twice print is string two times so if we increase to 3 it will print three times okay so in the last scenario what is happening is we are going to concatenate the string uh, with the given string so str is our hello world plus we are going to add the test to our string so then the output will be like hello world test so this is how we are going to work on is strings so these are the data types you should know when working with uh, python